Department and Home Secretary uh, this week anyway. Uh, she signed a deal to hand over now in total £63 million to the French. Uh, long story short, we'll get stuff like an extra 40% increase in French officers patrolling the beaches. Um, British officers will apparently be able to be more integrated in things like the police uh, control rooms. But apparently there's no such thing as a reciprocal deal, so we can send people back to France. We go around these circles all the time, David. Uh, is this going to be the answer to the channel crossings? It's the beginning, isn't it? And well done. We, we have to realise we can't just blame people in the past. We have to actually recognise it's a permanent problem. It's an organised crime problem more than anything else. Um, we used to process um, uh, migra migrants within 80 days. It's now a year and a half. That's software. That's In some cases, it's years, by the way. Yeah, it is. And... and um, we need to sign some form of uh, agreement. We've debated the Dublin Convention, but we need to do something so we can repatriate people. And, of course, we had to give money to, to the French because <laughs> they've got a problem in their country. Why do they want to stop them getting into boats to come here? I'm, uh, I understand. So, Do you think there's a political will to fix this problem? I think there's a political will. I don't think there's the political ability. I think that we've lost the ability to run government departments, to run bureaucracy, um, it, there is no one quick fix, and so it's got to be done over the next six months, including overseas settlement. I would have DNA taken by everybody. I would have ID cards. Um, you know, we've, we've, we've got to deal with the problem in places like Albania and, and Bulgaria and India as well to stop these, uh, these criminals exporting innocent individuals. Anyway, it's not that simple, but you've got to get on with it. Peter? Well, I'm very much in favour of the deal with the French. I've been urging this for some time. I think we should make, and I suspect the government plans to do this, make a much bigger and more wide-ranging deal with the French in time. What, you I mean more money? More money, yes, and, and, and more cooperation, uh, more, more, more direct presence of, of British officers on the French side. You go to that area, which, which I did a, f a few weeks ago, what you feel very strongly is that there is actually no frontier anymore, that the frontier of, of this country has moved to the French coast. And the moment someone gets into a boat and starts moving across the channel towards this country, they're here. And when they get here, they're going to stay. All this stuff about repatriation is, is fantasy. Rwanda is fantasy. You won't get rid of them once they're here. The only way to do it is to stop them leaving France. The only people who will do this are the French. There are a lot of conservatives in this country who have a silly, uh, a silly looking down on the view of the French. I, I don't have that. I think France is a serious country, but it's got its own pride. And we can't just say, oh, you must do this. Uh, and shout at them for not doing enough of it. If they say they need this money, if they say they need this form of cooperation, we should give it to but them. But of course, I think they, they will do money. it. Why wouldn't they say they want more money? They've already had fifty odd million pounds. It's not very it's much. I mean, we spend so much money on on rubbish like HS2 uh, that, that, that we could easily. This is a hugely important national problem that we that, that our national frontier is not secure. And we could, by, by a very modest expenditure, it seems to me, and also by treating, treating the French... I don't know, because I, I don't know... Well, you say you want significant... I don't, I, I, for me, if, if, I, I, I say France is a serious country. Treat it seriously. Treat it as a serious partner. Treat it as a friend. And, and we will get... You can't ever stop it completely. You can't seal the entire French coast. It's physically impossible. What you can do is reduce it to such low levels that it is no longer a desirable way for people to come here, and you will then have the problem. If if I were the government worried hugely about the next election, it would seem to me that their chances of, of doing any, uh, of having any success at all at that next election depend on them solving this problem. If that involves them giving money to the French, then fine. But for me, it's a matter of, of, of how the country fares. I do not think our southern coasts should be undefended from illegal migration. And I think it's time we did something about it. And I've looked at this over and over again. The only thing which works is if the French stop it. Nothing else will work. Do you agree so with that? concentrate because, upon it. Because what about this whole courts thing? We hear all the time this European Court of Human Rights. Some would say, get us out of that. Other people would say, do you know what? In fact, I've had questions tonight in the inbox. Uh, they're saying, look, why don't you just ignore those courts, take planes to Rwanda, just get on with that? Take planes to Rwanda would cost a lot more than 60 million and it's unworkable. That's a fantasy. Um, and um, what we have to do is realise it's not a short-term problem. One thing I would like to see is the building of settlement centres. And uh, my parents, when they when they came over from uh, Germany, were in internment camps in, in the Isle of Man and were treated very well. My mother was in it for a while. And um, we need something. If we're going to have this wave of immigration, we have to strengthen our borders. We have to deal with the criminals that are they're exporting. We have to do our data. We have to build the software. Um, we have to do all of this, all of this. And then maybe we can get immigration or, or migrants 
uh, of this type down to sort of a handleable five or ten thousand. But we used to be able to send thirty to fifty thousand people back a year. It's not the court of human rights. It's not an act. It's simply if we haven't signed an agreement to repatriate people humanely, right? To well, reasonable countries. That's not inhumane to put people on a plane, is it? That's not inhumane. To, to Rwanda? Yeah. Uh, Rwanda's fine for sponsoring Arsenal, but not to send back people who might include legitimate uh, asylum seekers or economic migrants. It will cost a fortune. The fact is well, we need to sign a Dublin Convention. Now, something like it. We need to be able to send people back from whence they came. But this came. is deeply insulting for people, Peter, the fact that we've been asked to shoulder higher tax burdens, as is going to be evident in the autumn statement mm. on Thursday. So we need to shoulder all this extra tax while simultaneously, when it suits the government, they seem to be able to open the window and chuck money out at any basic foreign problem that they feel like doing, whether that is things like the Ukraine situation, which was just spoken about in detail, I won't rehash, whether it is money over to France, whatever it is. And a lot of people have had enough of it. Quite well, frankly. I don't know. I think a lot of the money I pay in tax, I don't resent paying tax as such, but a lot of the money I pay in tax is spent on things I fundamentally disapprove of. Terrible schools, useless police, uh, mistargeted foreign aid. Aid. I'd much rather see it spent on, on, on paying the French to keep uh, migrants out of this country. Really? Yeah. Would you